We're joined by Chile's mining minister, Hernan de Sominac. Thank you so much for coming to the studio, minister. In terms of what we're seeing, there's so much concern about a double depreciation, about the fact that a lot of the commodities, including copper, will suffer if there's a recession and demand will slow. Are you concerned that 2012 will be a very difficult year? For sure, we are living some turbulence, international turbulence. But if we go to the fundamentals of the copper industry, the demand is right now is greater than the offer. But for sure, during the, this period that we're living now, we have to be aware, looking what is going on. And obviously, the market is going down right now. But the, we hope that the, in the future, near future, we will have a regular, uh, regular uh, again the market with, with, the, with the fundamentals uh, working okay. And so, Minister, what are you concerned the most about? Is it the European debt crisis? If we don't get a handle, that will slash world growth? Or is it also the fact that China is slowing and that the emerging markets still aren't strong enough to withstand a slowdown in the U.S. and Europe? For sure, uh, right now, for the short period of time and the turbulence, the more difficult time is now in Europe. And uh, in the long term, for us, it's important China, because China imports a great part of our export in copper. So, but the information that we have that uh, the China will continue uh, growing, probably reduce the growing, but will continue growing. So uh, it's, a, it's a huge, huge, huge country, and we will have uh, that, that uh, level of uh, uh, growth coming growth in again. again. So in, in how many years? I know it's very difficult and I'm putting you on the spot, but next year is going to be difficult. Is 2013 going to be where actually the industry stabilizes and when we're going to see more, you know, the trend upwards again for the price of copper or will it have to wait until 2014? What kind of price level are you seeing for the next 24 months? We, in the budget of the nation for the next year, we put uh, a price of the copper 302. Uh, uh, so that's the, the, the target that we are expecting for next year for the budget that in the country. So uh, we will keep on that, and, but look in, look in the market and be, be aware of what is going on. We should, we should evaluate each time as, as a... As a what is going on. As it goes on, Kudelko is also putting such huge amounts in terms of expansion. I, I think we heard the, you know, the figure 20 billion. Are some of the projects, will they have to be on hold? Will they have to be reevaluated, seeing the slowdown over the next 12 months? The mining industry decides in the long term. All the investment has to be in the long term because when you make a decision mm -hmm. and do all the evaluation, then the design and then the construction probably take eight and ten years and then the operating of that mine will take longer than that so so the decision for for the mining industry is a long-term decision so if this uh, turbulence will affect the long term that's the decision they have to make so right now uh, it's, it's, it's not a decision to do or not the investment right now because they're working on that mm -hmm. and but for sure Somebody need to be looking what is going in the market, but in the long term. So what, five, ten years? So not over the next two years? Because there's also, of course, there are other companies investing in Chile. And, and so it's for a total of 60 billion. Are you concerned that they will shy away? Or are you confident that everyone's taking that longer term view for five, ten years down the line? Yes, I think that everybody need, in the mining industry need to take that position. For the one that in the market now, if they don't do in, in the investment, will reduce the uh, reduce the the capability of the mine mm -hmm. to produce. So in order to keep the potential of the mine, need to do the investment. Because it's not will reduce the, the production of that mine. So the, the, the person that will, or the company that start a new business, uh, also need to, do, to look the long term, term. long term. But or they need to be the budget in order to do the investment now. So it's a decision that they, they need to make. Uh, Minister, I also wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, Delco as a public company. Do, is private investment something that you're, you're considering? There's been a lot of talk about actually the company surviving better and in a better state if it becomes a private company. Is this something that has been thought about? The President Piñera was very clear during the campaign and now that Codelco will remain as a public company in Chile. So it's not uh, any analysis that we're doing in that direction. 
Minister, on a little bit more of a fun note, you met recently with the director of the film that will be producing yes. the film about the 33 miners. What were discussed? Did you give them any details? Is there anything that we can look forward to? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a nice person, very interested in, the, in what is going on, but the main interest for him is the life of the person mm -hmm. and the, the miners and the life of the person that do the rescue. So mm -hmm. that's the focus that he told me that he would, he would like to do, in order to show what is going on in the, in, in the in person. The hearts. In the heart, it's a in the really a soul. It's basically the humanity of the it. The humanity. Not the techniques, not, yeah. not whatever was done, but what was going on in the, in the person, in the heart, in the miners, mm -hmm. and the heart in the people that were doing the rescue. Mr. De Somilnia, thank you De so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, thanks again for joining us, Hernan De Somilnia. That was the uh, mining minister of Chile.